Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to Mr. Kashif Sadiqi. <laughs> Do you remember in high school, people would always ask you, what do you want to be when you grow up? Do you remember sitting down with your guidance counselors and your teachers, your parents, and you would constantly be looking at all of these different academic programs and careers and guessing, is this a good job for me? Do you remember what that feeling was like? Do you remember where you felt that feeling? Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kashif Siddiqui. I am the founder and CEO of Click.ca, and we've taken the guesswork and anxiety out of career and academic guidance. I want to take you back to high school for a minute. And do you remember graduation day? Walking into, those, walking into the gymnasium, you open up those doors, you smell that pine saw and varnish cleanly, clean gym there. And you walk in and you see all these other students and there's this constant hum of parents and students, high fives and high hopes. And you look at the back of, this, uh, you look at the back of the podium and it says, oh, the places you will go. I didn't know where I wanted to go. But you look around and you see 10 of your classmates, maybe they're friends, maybe they're just other students that you've seen. Out of those 10, two of them have decided I don't know what I want to do. So I'm going to take some time off. I'm going to go travel the world. I'm going to go discover myself. Out of the eight that are left, who end up going into post-secondary school, so that's college or university, five of them are going to change their degree program at least once. And three of them are going to change their degree program at least twice. One of the eight will drop out somewhere between the first and their third year. Now, these are just numbers, right? Maybe you're one of those numbers. Maybe you changed your degree program. I was one of those numbers, and I remember how it felt. So I come from a family of physicians and economists, very, very smart people. And I remember telling my family that, listen, I want to be an architect because I love arts, I love math. And they said, sure, you can be an architect, but you're going to be a doctor or an engineer first. And if not, then we're going to send you back to the old country and you're going to be an auto mechanic. So I thought, well, that's not really for me, but uh, so let me talk to my uncle. My uncle's always looked out for me. And I said, you know, I, I want to be an architect, but I don't really know. Like, sh like, like, is this a good job? And he said, well, listen, I don't know much about architecture, but, you know, it's not really a job that I see a lot of people doing. Maybe they get sued because of the angles are off. You got to be really careful. You know, and, and he's just giving you sincere advice. He just didn't know. So... I went to my guidance counselor. You know, I walked into her office, and so I remember the, the, the burgundy floor, you know, the old tattered desk with the big clunky monitors back in the day, a bunch of brochures from University of Ottawa, Carleton, Algonquin, all these other, all these other uh, phenomenal schools. And I remember asking her, I said, you know, like, what do you think I should do? You think I should go this way? You think I should go that way? And she said, well, uh, you know, engineering is, a good jo engineering is a good job, so you should try to become an engineer. I said, okay, but what does an engineer do exactly? Like, isn't, isn't like a garbage collector also a sanitational engineer? Like, is that, is that an engineer? Or what kind of engineers are there? So I'm like, is it going to fit with me? Like, what's the demand of this job? Does it make a lot of sense? Is it, am I going to have to live in Ottawa? Can I move somewhere else? Is there a lot of things going? Like, I didn't understand what that job was and what the economic probability and the forecast of that job was. So she said, listen. Just apply to a bunch of different schools and see what you get in. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I'm going to spend, what, $60,000, $70,000 on an education, five years, four years of my life, and kind of know what I'm going to get into? That didn't make a lot of sense to me. So anyways, I took her advice, and I, I ended up going into engineering at Carleton, did three years of engineering, decided that uh, once I got to thermodynamics and fluid mechanics, this isn't, this isn't sitting with me. So I'm going to switch over into computer science. Did two years of computer science, uh, you know, learned a whole lot, met a whole lot of great, great people, and I got a great job working for some Fortune 500 companies. Started to work there, started to build up what I thought was a good job because it was a job and I was good at it. So... I, from there, I went into the federal government, did about 10 years, decided to go do my MBA, said, hey, I know the technology part, let me go learn the business part. So I went and I had and I did that. 
And during the course of this period, I was mentoring a lot of students. I was working with a lot of communities and a lot of high schools, helping kids with like calculus and algebra and you know, a, bunch, a bunch of different math courses. And I remember one of the students said to me, well, Kashif, like, what's, what's working hard enough? Like, why do I need to get a 98 on this math exam or this math, uh, uh, this ma it was an exam actually we were studying for. I said, why do I need to get a 98? And I said, well, you just do, because it's going to help you get into all these other programs. And he said, but okay, but if I get into the programs, what kind of job am I going to have? Well, I said, you know, you'll have a good job. Okay, but what does that good job mean? Like, what exactly is that job? And the more I talked to him, and then the more I talked to the other students, I realized that the biggest challenge students have today is they don't see the line of sight between the grades and their personality and the impact that that has to their future prospects of a particular career. Until now. Click.ca is the first and only guided platform on the market today that allows students to see the impact that their grades make to the probability of them getting a job that's in demand, that's high paying, and that will be fulfilling. Our platform is so simple to use that students enter just a little bit of data and they get a world of information. But the best part about it is that it only takes under four minutes. Under four minutes, they enter their information and they get all this information back that they can actually action upon. 44% of the students come back to use the platform. It's not even mandated. This is themselves saying, I see so much value in giving me that line of sight that I'm going to go back and I'm going to use it again. Let's take it back to guidance counselors for a minute. The ratio of students to guidance counselors is 396 to 1. In some regions, that goes all the way up to 826 to 1. Let's be realistic. Is it realistic for a parent or a student or a principal to expect that a guidance counselor knows what the economic trends are, what the ch ever-changing requirements are for uh, courses, uh, for, for programs and courses? It's difficult for them to keep up with it. I've spoken to a lot of guidance counselors, and when I talk to them, they have three priorities. Priority number one, personal development of the student. Priority number two, interpersonal development of the student. Priority number three is career and academic, uh, academic planning. Where do you think they spend most of their time? 60% of their time is spent on academic and career planning. What we know now as adults is one of the most important things we want from our children is to be able to work with each other, to be impactful in society, to be able to give back, and a lot of that comes from your personal development and working with others. Yet 60% of the time, guidance counselors whose primary job are those three things is being spent doing the one thing that we've now automated. So ladies and gentlemen, if you want Click to help your students, their parents, the guidance counselors, and keep your school board happy, Pull out your phone, open up your messaging app, text KLIQ to 555-888. That's how easy it is to interact with us. That's how easy it is to use our platform. Every parent that we've shown this platform to says the exact same thing. I wish I had this when I was in high school. Let's take the guesswork out of academic and career planning Thank you very much.